that? Yes, you. Do you live in an area at risk of flooding? Has your home or business suffered from flooding in the past? Have you taken any steps to prevent it from happening again? Would you like to know how? Preparation is vital. The first thing you need to do is to sign up for flood alerts from the Environment Agency Flood Warning Service. These can be by email or text. Prepare a flood kit to include waterproof clothing, important documents like passport and insurance policies, torches, spare batteries and chargers. Ensure you know how to switch off the power within the property, as water and electricity really don't mix and can create a fire risk. It's always a good idea to clean your drains. No, not the ones in the sink. The drains outside, silly. To prevent floodwaters from coming into your property, you need to create a barrier at all external doorways. Not with your children. If you plan to use sandbags, make sure you source them well in advance, as stocks can run out at suppliers. Place the sandbags in front of your doorways and stack them up accordingly. Ensure you place a plastic sheet behind and beneath the sandbags to create a watertight seal. Flood sacks are a modern version of a sandbag and many are reusable. Place them in front of external doors and the gel inside will swell when it gets wet. Don't forget to check the manufacturer's instructions first. Flood sacks can also seal ground floor toilets to prevent upsurge through the sewage system. Now, do you know what a floodboard is? No, not a surfboard, a floodboard. These create a removable barrier with a watertight seal in front of your doors, but you may need to get a professional to help install them. Similar devices are available to seal up air bricks. If you live near a river or flowing water, don't forget to check the water levels regularly, especially on spring tides and during periods of heavy rain. Looks like you got there just in time. Congratulations! You are now flood ready. For more information, log on to getfloodready.org.